is it? Today in SEL, we're going to be talking about managing anxiety. Um, the word anxiety, what do we think anxiety means? What do we think this word means? Taking a look at um, our pup up on the front screen, what do we think it means? Charlotte. I think the puppy on the screen means like, I don't know, like happy in a way. He's um, not, anxiety is actually not like a good feeling. It's not a happy feeling. Liam typed to me that it's uh, maybe stressed out. Um, it is being part of stress. Um, Kira, what do you think? Being worried or nervousness. Worried and nervous. I was also going to add those words to my definition as well. So stressed, worried, nervous. So looking at this pug, he's got a very face about him. He's like, ooh, I don't know about that. So let's go see what we are thinking about. So ah, I want that gone because I want you to come up with this list. What are some things that you guys think fourth graders worry about? What are some things that you guys worry about? Olive. Um, staying focused and completing assignments. Staying focused and completing assignments. What else do you guys worry about? Lucas. The air test. Oh, air test. What else do you guys worry about? We can just also say testing in general, right? So like when we do I ready. Um, Charlotte. Um, some other things that we also worried about is um getting great like getting good report cards getting good report card grades you know like getting good grades and like stuff so. yeah i agree like, i think so on that. i know Sounds good. I saw Eliza had her hand up. What did you want to ask, Eliza? Um, I forgot. You forgot? What are some things outside of school that you might worry about? What do you think, Eliza? Um, um, Like if you have like a like if you have chores you need you can get the, you worry about getting them done. Oh, getting chores done. What else do you worry about, Charlotte? Oh. Um, what I worry about outside oh. school is like, like, um, how I put it, like, it's cause like whenever you're like out of school, you worry about like doing, cause like you gotta, like, I bet some of us do sports, like you, you sometimes worry about sports Sport. because like you have to do like, yeah. Sports and outside activities, I think. And extra activities, I think so. I remember I played soccer growing up and I wanted to be really good and I was always worried about being the best. Um, what about making friends or keeping friends? Do you guys ever worry about, um, you know, getting in arguments with your friends or anything like that? Um, I don't know, you might at this time. Uh, so those are some really, I think the list is things that fourth graders worry about. I think also, um, 
as an adult, I worry about getting um, my chores done. I'm worried about um, my report card grade is like what my principal grades me on. I worry about stuff like that. Um, completing my assignments, that's me putting my your work up online. I worry about getting all this stuff done. Um, Eliza, anything you want to add? So like if you have like a younger sibling, you worry about them like getting hurt or or doing something they're not supposed to be doing? Yeah. Worry about your younger siblings. I, I like that you're thinking about your younger siblings. Um, Olive, really quick. Um, like keeping my room clean and um, my stuff picked up. Keeping room cleaned and uh, stuff picked up. Really quick, Charlotte, anything you want to add? This was for what we worry about at school, um, missing work, actually, because sometimes if you don't do your missing work, your grades don't always count. Okay, good. Um, Lucas, did you want to add something really quick? What was that? Getting homework done on time. Getting homework done on time? Yeah. All righty. I agree. I got to move on to the next slide because we talked a lot about things that we could possibly worry about. I, I think we could probably add a ton to this um, list. Let's look at it. What is anxiety? It's that uncomfortable feeling you get when you are worried about something that might or might not happen, okay? So maybe you have in your head something that might or might not happen and you are stressed out about it, you're worried about it. So we're gonna watch our first video. I want you to think about some things. What situation was making Ethan anxious? Why does he feel anxious? What could Ethan need to do so that he can think clearly? And what are some strategies Ethan can use to calm down? So let's check out this first video. Oh, it's got to sign me in really quick. I just had a lot of good things to say. Do, do, do. Okay, so here's our first video. Ugh, ugh. I have a really important math really test important today. Math test today. I hate math. I hate math. I'm not good at it. I'm not good at it. I'm gonna get a bad grade. A bad grade. Should have studied. Should have studied. My mom's going to be really mad. I don't know why it's so easy for everyone else. I guess I'm just stupid. Man, I really hate math. I'm really bad at taking tests. And this test is going to be so hard. Okay, so we watched part one of the video. What is making Ethan anxious? Eliza, why is he anxious? He's anxious because he um, he because um, he keeps saying to himself that he's not good at math, that he's not going to be able to do it. He's not good at it. Right. Um, he's, he's, but when he does that, he's using 
he's using negative self-talk and it's m making him even more anxious about the test. Exactly, Eliza. So he's worried about his test and why did he feel anxious? Eliza said perfectly, he doesn't think he's good at math and he's using all of this negative self-talk that is actually kind of making the situation worse, right? What do you guys think Ethan could do so that he can think clearly? What strategy could he do to make himself think clearly? What do you think? Um, Eliza, go for it. Um, he could take, um, he could take three deep breaths or he could, uh, or he could use, um, you could use self-talk, but not negative self-talk. Like, I can do it. Don't give up. Work hard. Get it. Get it done. And then, and um, he he could um he could um he those could are perfect. Take belly breaths. Yeah, so perfect, Eliza. You kind of answered. Um, both the next two questions as well. So he's taking deep breaths that he could do. He could use those belly breaths. He could um, use positive self-talk instead of negative self-talk so that he can really talk himself through the test. Let's see if he does any of those things on our second video. So we want to look for what is his stop signal? What did he say to name his feeling? What did he do to calm down? And then I want you to think about it for a minute. What could Ethan do to help himself feel less anxious about the next time he has a test? All right, so let's watch that second video. Okay, Ethan, get a grip. I'm feeling really anxious. I need to try to calm down. Okay, I'm just going to take a couple of deep breaths in through my nose, breathing deep down out through my mouth. Again. All right, it's going to be okay. I'll just do my best. And Ethan really does those things that Eliza talked about. His stop signal, it's kind of hard to find, but it was him saying, okay, Ethan, let's think about it. And then what did he say to name his feeling? His feeling was being anxious, right? What did he do to calm down? He did exactly what Eliza told us to do, which was take a deep breath. He did two of them. And he said, I can do this. Um, what do you think Ethan could do next time, though, to help him feel less anxious about this test? What could he do next time? Lucas. Uh, that was a little fuzzy, Lucas. Could you say it again? I'm having a hard time hearing you. It could be something with your headphones. He could end, he could start positive or end positive. Oh, start positive or end positive? Is that what you said? He can start. Okay. That works, Charlotte. What else? I don't know. He could use empathy. Like, use empathy. I don't know. Well, like, like say. Because it's his own situation. Right? Yeah, but. Yeah. Yeah, but I meant like. 
like he can use empathy to like say like I can do this, you know, like oh, okay, yes. I I can do it, yeah. Yeah. What could what else could he do to really get himself less anxious? He told himself that he didn't do a couple of things and maybe he could set himself up for success by doing this. Eliza um he he could um he could um he could think of what he's been saying to himself and what's been making him say that stuff and help and take belly breaths to calm down again and yeah. then just then just tell himself to focus on his work and get get all your stuff done so you can get a better grade absolutely i think he also needs to do some things to help himself out on this math test he says to himself i don't know how to do this mom's gonna be mad i didn't study for this test i don't know what we're talking about on the test you think if he went and practice some of his skills. If he paid attention in class or maybe he studied for the test, he would maybe feel better about going into the test. Yeah, I think so. I see a lot of nodding heads. Just by practicing some of the skills could make him feel less anxious next time he has a test. Um, all right, so steps to manage anxiety. First, we need to stop. We need to name the feeling and we need to take steps to calm ourselves down. This is the same thing as when we are angry. We learned about the angry feeling last week. This is another um, strong emotion. We need to breathe. We need to count, use positive self-talk and a grounded approach. That means like I've done all these things and I'm going to think very clearly about what I want to do. I'm not going to think um, what we say like irrationally and do something very spontaneously. I'm doing something after I've stopped and thought about it, okay? Positive self-talk strategy. We want to think of some sentence starters that will really help us positive self-talk. These are sentence starters like, I can, I will, I can change my mind about, even though, is there anything we're missing from this list? Like, I can do it. I'm using those as my sentence starters. I will do better next time. I can change my mind about how I'm feeling. Even though math is hard, I can try. Is there another sentence starter we could add to the list that would help us with positive self-talk? What's another sentence starter, Eliza? Um, 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 I should... I should, okay, I think that works. I should try better. I should do this and not be so upset. Lucas, what's another um, sentence starter? I got this. I've got this, I like that. That's very uh, right to the point, right? Um, Charlotte, really quick, last one. You can keep your work. I, um, like, I, like, uh, I, um, I, I know I can do better this time than last time. Perfect. I know I can do better. I know I can do this. That's great. I'm going to move on to the next one. And you're going to help me change some of these um, statements. So this is the negative self-talk. You have to come up with what we can say instead. So the sentence reads, 
I made a big mistake. What can I say instead? Instead of saying automatically, I made a big mistake. Uh, William. You could say, yeah. you could say like, like keep trying or like we learn from our mistakes. We learn from our mistakes. Keep trying. I like both of those. Next one. I cannot make this better. Like say I get something, my teacher asks me to correct it and you say, I cannot make this better. Eliza, what could you say instead? Um, I can make this better. I can make this I better. I will make this better. I will make this better. Olive, I, what would you like to say? I can change this. I can change this. All right. I will not make friends. I will not make friends. Lucas, what could you say positively? I will make friends. I, I will make to meet them first. I just have to meet them first. I like that. Kira. I will definitely make friends one of these days. I will definitely make friends one of these days. I like it. Nothing ever changes. So kind of like our character Allie in our book. Um, she's saying everybody always hates her. Nothing ever changes about that. Um, Charlotte, what could you say positively instead of nothing ever changes? I have two for this one. My first one is I um nothing. Okay. Um something will change around here. Or I can make it change. Like in a way, like I mean my I can make it change. Like I can can make um, my math, like I can make my science change, like, because let's just say, I don't know, it, this is not real, let's just say, okay, Mrs. Pierce gets a D on her a science assignment, but um, this year, but that means the next year, then you do better, because you learned, you know, like you learned more. I think so, Charlotte. Those are great responses. Um, uh, grounding strategy. This is what I was kind of talking about. It says the five, four, three, two, one grounding technique. So these are the things um, that you are going to do to help yourself find kind of your center and like make a better choice and say something instead of out of anger or out of anxiousness. So number five. What you're going to do is you're going to um, look and you're going to use your eyes and you're going to concentrate whether it's on an animal, a chair, a desk, laptop, pen. You're going to just look for, I don't know why it says the sun because you're not going to stare off into the sun, but I'm going to use my eyes and see I have my highlighter. I'm going to stare at it. You can, number four, feet on the floor. I'm going to plant my feet on the floor. Um, maybe my hands are on my desk, pen, or book. I'm really going to center myself. I can hear the clock ticking, the wind blowing, my peers talking. I'm going to concentrate on those things. Maybe I can smell. I'm noticing the smells around myself. And then um, I'm going to think what are, like, I can taste uh, breakfast, my toothpaste, chewy gum. I'm thinking of these things my five senses to kind of think through um, and really like concentrate on those things so that I'm kind of distracting my brain away from that negative self-talk, my anxious feelings. And then when I'm like grounded, I can come back and like really use some positive self-talk. I can breathe and then I can have like a better response than when I'm all, um, anxious or in the last lesson when I was angry, 
for instance. And we're not going to write this down. I just want you to think through this. Um, I want you to think to yourself a situation that makes you feel anxious. How does your body react to feeling anxious? And what strategy would you prefer to use to calm down? So I want you to think through all of that. Maybe thinking about that first slide, what are some of those things that made us anxious? Staying focused, completing assignments, our air tests, or regular testing in general, getting good report card grades, getting chores completed, sports and extracurricular activities, making friends or keeping friends, worrying about younger siblings, keeping room cleaned and stuff picked up, missing assignments, getting homework done on time. Those are some of the things that might make us feel anxious. How does our body react? Well, your body reacts by, you know, all of a sudden your heart beats fast, you're getting stressed out, you're worrying. And what are some of the things that you can calm yourself down in the future? What can you do to do those things? These are all things that I just want you to think about. And this is where we'll end our lesson today with, um, managing anxiety. Uh, I just want you to keep this in mind when we go to our next lesson next week on lesson 14. Um, we're going to still be dealing with big emotions. When you guys 